everybody. It's Nicole from Cardstock Headquarters, and I just want to do a quick video on how to import an SVG file with your eCraft Shop Pro software. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and click on File, and we're going to go down to the Import SVG, and then I have a teddy bear file here. This file was gotten from a online store called MyScrapChick.com and you can go there and check out all their cute little files. They've got bears, they've got all kinds of things on there. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and make this larger because it comes out really small when you first import it. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out so it's bigger and easier to work with. And then I'm going to go ahead and move it over to where I to cut out my cards. So now that it's in place, we'll go to our eCraft machine and cut it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my settings here, eCraft machine for using the eCraft Shop Pro software, okay? So the first thing you want to do is, um, I don't know if it can do scraps or not yet. I haven't experienced, um, experimented with that yet. So I'm just going to use a 12 by 12 cardstock. Um, I'm using brown for the bear. And I'm going to put my settings, I'm going to go to mode, and I want to be in tray mode, so that's important. And I also want my density on one and width one. So that's what I'm going to do my settings at. Um, I also have, I'm using bezel cardstock, so I have my um, blade on eight. Okay, so those are the settings. So let me go over to my machine here. Okay, now we've got our eCraft machine all set up and ready to go. We can go ahead and cut out our little bear. So we're going to go up to this icon here that has a printer on it with um, a piece of cardstock behind it. That's what it looks like to me. It says cut to PCD. So we're going to go ahead and press that. It says yes, tray, roll, first load paper in tray, and then no manual. So we're not going to be able to feed manual while we're using the eCraft Shop Pro software. So we're going to go ahead and pre press yes and get our eCraft machine to cut this. I've got cords everywhere. All right. So you guys might wonder why I do all these videos. Um, one, I want the customers that have purchased the eCraft from us to really get the most use out of it. I want, I don't want people to buy anything from Cardstock Headquarters and say, why did I buy this? What I, what am I going to use it for? So that's why we've decided to do videos. I really want my customers to get the most out of their eCraft machine. And by demoing, I think it helps everybody learn new things and uh, to figure out the best way to use their eCraft. So that's why we do it. I hope you guys all enjoy that. And even if you've bought an eCraft from another company, I'm just glad we can help people learn how to use it. So it's a great machine, and I've been really impressed so far. So let's see what it's done here. I think it's almost done. Okay, it is now done, and you'll know it's done when you, um, on your computer screen, there is a little box that pops up when it starts to cut, and that tells you, um, it says, do you want to stop cutting? Well, that box disappears when it's done cutting. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my paper to me. Oh, pieces are just falling out here. And here's my little bear. These are little pieces. And put them aside. See, they're just popping right out. It's not a problem at all. It looks like one of my hearts fell out. Okay, let's get that all the way out of there. So if you have a piece that falls through your machine, you can, let me turn this off, I'll show you. Turn your machine over. You guys still see. There is a little screw here. Unscrew this. And in there, see there's my little pieces. If they fall out in the roller, you can get your pieces out. That one I might need my tweezers for. I can find my tweezers. I might have to, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it, it's a little hard, I'm not gonna use anyway, but I can get it out with my tweezers later. I have my tweezers in a bag. 
ready to take my crafting to my sister's on Tuesday. So, okay, so I had to stop so I could turn the machine back around. It was a little bit hard around the camera. So now I've got my little bear here. I'm going to show you guys how to put it together, so I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, let's put together this cute little bear we cut out with the My Scrap Chick file. It's an SVG file and um, our eCraft machine and our eCraft Pro software. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create the face. And I have these stamps. This is from, um, they've got bear face and stuff. This is Peachy Keen stamps and... Um, they um, have like faces and eyes and all kinds of different things. Check them out. I think it's peachykeenstamps.com. And I'm just going to do this in black. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp here. And I'm just going to get his little face. I might not get them all in here. I made the bear a little bit too small. This is my first time using the software. And um, I'll need to eventually learn my sizing a little bit better. But for now, you guys can at least see what it's capable of. Now I'm going to chalk my bear, and this just gives it a little bit of <coughs> excuse me, a little bit of definition. So I'm just gonna chalk the edges around my bear. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just kinda put it on the edges, and I do that on each piece. And I have this white big piece of not cardstock, it's like poster board underneath me here, so I can just feel free to make a mess. See, and I'm in my pajamas, and you guys don't even know it. That's the nice thing about being on video and just showing you my hands. I can dress and be as comfy as I'd like. Alright, so we're almost done here, chalking all the little pieces. This will make the pieces stand out because we're using the same color when you put the bear together. Now, just to make this fast and simple, I'm just going to go ahead and you glue the body on first. These are all separate pieces <clears throat> just so you can see the layering effect here. So I put my little tummy on right there. That's about right. I put my head on. And place that about right there. Okay, cute. Looks like a little tear bear. And then I got my feet on. Okay, we'll just put that right there. You also could pop up the feet. That would be really, really cute. But it's late here and I'm getting tired. So you guys are getting what you get. I just wanted to get this video on so you guys could see about the software and how it works. So, there, there's my cute little bear. So here you get the close-up of that. See him? Isn't he cute? He says, thanks for watching everybody. Alright, you guys have a great day. I'll do more tutorials um, using the Pro software as I learn a little bit more. Alright, thanks so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>